Hi everyone, welcome to World Geography Week 7. The purpose of this video is to give you a small glimpse of what we'll be covering throughout this week. Um, we'll go over some main points and activities that will be covered. But before I start, I wanted to express how proud I am of you for completing the main concepts and activities throughout Unit 1. So um, in week seven, we're going to be concluding unit one and moving on to unit two, which will get us to focus on the United States and Canada. So throughout unit one, you guys have done a lot of work and we've explored the geography basics in depth where we looked at longitude and latitude, the five themes of geography. We looked at why seasons change the water cycle and climate regions in depth, especially the difference between climate and weather. And we've started to explore more of the cultural aspects of geography in terms of cultural diffusion and culture and society in terms of how they define our identity and how they affect identity formation. So now we're gonna start going into more of um, the interactions between different countries and how these countries um, define their economy, how the different lifestyles affect the political choices that they make, or how they affect the individual's lifestyles in terms of um, the career that they take on or the interactions of trade that they take on with other countries. So let's quickly look at our agenda. The topics that we're going to explore in week seven include trade and development, North American Indian cultural regions, European colonization, and the three American Indian culture. So usually we try to focus mainly on one big question or a couple of questions as we progress through the lesson. So we're going to start off by looking at how did the first people reach North America? How did the each of these cultural regional cultures adapt to its environment. We're going to be looking at subarctic and arctic regions. This is more of a historical um, lesson that we'll be, you know, taking part in. We're going to look at these two different cultures and what made them similar and different, and see how this later affected the definition of the cultures or how it helped shape definition of culture in North America. Of course, we're going to be talking about the Native Americans, okay? So when we explore these regions, we're going to try to develop a small paragraph for each different category and understand what differentiates them and why that's important. So we have the Puebloans and the Mississippians that we're going to be looking at. We want to engage in a discussion of how the impact of European colonization affected these two groups in North America. Now let's take a quick look at some of the activities that we're going to be taking part in. As I mentioned, when we're concluding Unit 1, we're going to take part in the Supply and Demand Country Marketplace. This activity is found on BC. So what we will be doing in this particular activity is that we want to kind of meet the objective of how and why trade takes place between countries, explore examples of products that are exchanged between countries and why they're significant. So you guys will act those roles out, especially when it comes to the United States and the countries that surround it. Um, we'll also be using a part of a slideshow to help guide us through in terms of how we convince um, developed and less developed countries to make treaties or to engage in um, agreement processes. And then we have the Digital Museum. So that one is going to help us look at the three Native American cultures um, and for us to actually differentiate between those three categories and three cultures and kind of visualize certain items that they may have, um, especially when it comes to the essential vocab words in the lesson. 
There will be interactive maps in photo galleries as well that we're going to be exploring through Savas. And that's basically it for that week. Um, it's like I said, it's an introduction for Unit Two. We're understanding the histo historic background of the United States and Canada so that we can relate it to modern day society and delve into that. If you have any questions regarding what was covered previously or what will be covered, please reach out to me through my email or in person during office hours. And that is all. Keep up the great work.